G'day, my name's David Moyle. I'm the chair of the Townsville Ratepayers Association. This organisation was set up in January of this year, comprising of men and women from all over the city. It's a non-political group. It's an organisation set up to give the men and women of Townsville an opportunity to voice their concerns or opinions through the media or through an advocacy group such as ourselves. We meet every Saturday, or last Saturday of every month, and I invite all of you to attend. Over the next few weeks, I'll be giving media presentation of what we're about, and hopefully, I would invite you to attend and become a permanent member of our group. For, for, for years now, as a local government city council in Tharanga between 2000 and 2004, I often thought that the people of, of this city really don't get a voice in the running of the day-to-day -day affairs. We have found that for, since 2008 that huge rates have been put onto the city because of poor judgement or lack of political will to do the right thing. Just recently in the media, one in ten households of towns are now facing financial hardship and yet our elected members are willing to spend more and more money. At the moment we have a debt somewhere in the vicinity of between 400 and 450 million dollars. What well, that means to you and I that every rates bill that we get, $550 of that money is now gone to paying off debt. And yet our elected members intend to spend an additional $100 million more on stadiums and further infrastructure throughout this town. Townsville is a nice place, it is a good place, but we've been hit very hard with the global financial crisis, the Newman government's um, attack on the public service sector, and the business community is feeling it very hard every day. Every day I drive down the streets of towns and I see more and more stop stores and shops and businesses closing down which has the flow on effect of further and further more people and our children of this city being unemployed. So I ask you please do not be the silent minority or the silent majority anymore and have a voice and voice your opinion because together we can change. We can change public perception, we can change the opinion of our elected members. All I ask you to do is step up and take your turn and let your voice be heard.